Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Phoenix Draconis. And this is Kion Reviews. All right. Now, for a lot of people, you've only heard the voice, you've never seen the face. Ta-da! <laughs> so, this is going to be a special video. Uh, because, like for a lot of us that had, uh, you know, uh, backed the HasLab Victory Saber project last year, it's finally out and I'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen a lot of reviews a lot of unboxings well lo and behold I've got mine here have yet to unbox it uh, as a matter of fact I got this over the weekend unfortunately my post office was closed uh, even though it's at one of the other locations which are open on Saturdays they're only open until noon so this i want to get a notification about this around one two o'clock in the afternoon and couldn't get it till today so here it is and of course there's no logo or anything like that that says hasbro or anything to that effect so just a mailing label that's on the side which i'm not going to show and I got my trusty box cutter here. And for those that have really good hearing, that was my stomach, which is, I'm wondering why it's making that noise. I fed it earlier. All right, so I am opening up the box. Now, pretty much I know a lot of others have, a lot of other reviewers have, uh, have done the unboxing here. Yeah. There we go. All right, that's one. Let's keep that puppy out of the way. Okay, so I go ahead and there we go. Ta da. And we're going to go and just back up a little bit. See, there we are. Okay, so I am going to open this up a bit. Cut from this end here. So I hope a lot of you aren't disappointed with uh, with actually seeing me. You all have seen me, or I should say, it's very rare I actually ever, uh, you know come online or at least put myself in front of the camera so now let's see hopefully yeah and i'm hoping that the slip cover will actually come off as well ah there we go so inside that one box you have this box and that one actually has uh, let's see if I can try to show it off there it's got the Hasbro logo on here now here we have what we've waited over a year for Victory Saber with uh, with artwork from uh, Guido Guidi, I believe, is the, the artist that was involved for this artwork. Very nice. I've always loved his work, uh, even uh, with some of the earlier IDW. Is it IDW? No, I think I think it was IDW, but I think he also did some stuff for Dreamwave uh, when they held the Transformer licensing back in the day. So, very nice. I like the uh, the, the red background here. You also got, you know, the, the logo for Transformers Victory, and you see Victory Saber, and you do see Legacy on here. Then, of course, you got in very nice 
chrome lettering or red chrome lettering transformers or transformers and then on this side you do see victory saber as well as the v-star jet on this end and then you do see you know you know uh autobot saber victory leo uh The Brain of Courage, that's what they're calling them. And then you have Hori and uh, Fire. And then, uh, unfortunately, they didn't include the, the rest of the rescue team, such as Pipo and uh, Boto. Boat. That's what they called them. But uh, this is so, so awesome. Now... This is also a slip cover, and I'm not going to show off anything as of yet because I do want to show this off because I've already seen other reviews on this. And this is a double slip cover. Ta da! And holy shit! <laughs> yeah! So you can be able to fold it uh, in the U.S. version, and you also have for the Japanese one. Holy cow, man. Look at that awesome-ass artwork. Oh, and you also have this here, which is, I think, the original box art uh, that was in the back for Victory Saber, Cybertron. Uh, 328 Victory Saber. Very awesome. Look at that. Oh my fucking god. And then you got the close up of Victory Saber with the flight stand and all his add ons. And then you got Transformers Victory. Tatakai Choroboto Semetai. Transformer Victory. And then you have all the product shots here. Holy cow, man. That is so damn awesome. Uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this back. Or at least put this back the way it was in its default mode. Alright, so I'll put this over here because this also came with this and I want to see if I can try and find a frame for this which has the image of Desaurus which is currently being funded right now. If I remember correctly, uh, he has already passed 18,000 backers. Now... I don't know if I'll be able to be part of this camp, uh, part of the Death Source campaign. Uh, I'm hoping that I will have the chance to do so. But, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. But this is what he looks like in this image. You see Star Saber, Victor Del Rio, Cody, and Fire. Ah. Uh, such awesome artwork. All right, so I'm gonna put this off to the side. Ooh. Yeah, I make old man noises. Now, now we also got, and I know you can probably see the, you know, what's on here, but I'm gonna try and get this, you know, taken care of. So we got this little baggie, and we have. Oop, there we go. Last thing I. So we got some decals, and this is for Victory Leo. Uh, I saw a an an unboxing that that Thu had done 
on his channel uh, when he showcased his um, copy of Victory, Sa of, uh, Victory Saber. And it does have these labels that go on Victory Leo. And then, of course, you got this this immensely very, very, very large instruction sheet. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh. And I like that they highlighted a lot of the images too, where you can see uh, what goes or how the transformation goes, basically. Now, I don't want to jump too far ahead, uh, but I am going to make a mention of this. Number one, this is my first HasLab that I had backed. Victory Saber was the first. Now, a lot of people say, well, I'm not really all that invested in the character and whatnot. Well, that's all fine and dandy. However, I do remember seeing, you know, the uh, the series. And, um, you know, I was able to get uh, a copy of the series, you know, way back when, way, uh, during the age of VHS. Uh, so I had a friend of mine who did a public access show called Anime Review. His name is Ben Dunn. Um, he was also a comic book artist as well as at the time, editor-in-chief of Antarctic Press. So it was through him that I wound up discovering, uh, you know, characters that I never even knew that were part of the Transformer lore, such as Gajenrai, Overlord, and then with Transformers Victory, you know, you have, you know, Victory Saber, and uh, coming soon, Desaurus. So, uh, you know, so when I heard that Haslab was going to do this, yeah, damn right I'm going to go ahead and end up trying back this. So this was over a year ago, mind you. And uh, I'm so grateful that I went ahead and put the funds in for it. So now that we saw this, I'll put this to the side. And we're going to go ahead and take out... the top portion here and wow so uh, wow I, I'm looking at the uh, the flight and figure stand here this is very very large <laughs> uh, look at that and you see the the shield that he has uh, for anyone that's ever saw Transformers Victory, and I know it's out on uh, it's out on DVD uh, as part of the Japanese collection. Uh, I think it involved uh, Headmasters, Master Force, and Victory. So, for anyone that ever has these DVDs and has seen Victory, you know you know uh, when he uses his shield. And of course, you see these cannons here, they go on to Victory Leo. And I do like, you know, the way, the way they look. You can tell they're, I, 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 I gotta say, they gotta, they gotta be painted. There's no two ways about it. Now, the all I have to say, I, I may be a little nitpicky and whatnot. But uh, I'm not all that fond of the color of the Blastifix. If they had done like a type of yellowish or yellowish orange, I, I would be I'd be down for that one. But the, this, you know, snow cone green. Uh, color's good on a snow cone. Not so much for a Blastifix, in my opinion. <laughs> but again, this is my opinion, okay? Uh, and you do see the blade for uh, 
for uh, Star Saber. Saber Blade! So, yeah. Oh, man, that is so damn awesome. Now, I'm not going to take these out as of yet. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Now, um, let's see here. Shoot, I knew I should, I knew I forgot something. Give me a moment, I'll be right back. I'm back. I need to get a pair of scissors. Because what I am going to be taking out are these guys. And I want you to at least, you know, see them on here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out the figure. Now, granted, this is, in my opinion, I'm going to just lift this up a bit. This is the first Star Saber ever that I've ever had in my, in my own possession. What am I missing? Oh. There we go. Here I thought that. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Holy cow. Wow. Look at this. Holy shit. Now granted, as you're seeing me do this, this is, it, you know, there is, you know, some rotation of the head going right, left, but that is about it. You cannot do it 360. You'll run the risk of ruining the uh, brain of courage inside his chest. There is a soft ratchet as you can hear and there is some upper bicep rotation there is elbow bend at around 90 degrees oh that sounds so good it does in addition it does have upper bicep rotation here but I think that may be due to transformation. Now there is a waist rotation here. Um, there is wrist rotation as well. His hands do open up as you can see. And just like in I think um, uh, a couple of other reviewers including Thu had made a mention of uh, just like um, Skyfire or Siege Skyfire and uh, when you close his hand you will see that little ring reappear very very nice now he, he does kick up about a little bit under 90 degrees is 
does have a knee bend around a little bit a little bit under 90 and that is and he can kick back just a little bit but not by much he it does hit his butt flap here he does have upper thigh rotation he does his his toe does go in, but again, that's due to transformation. Hooey. Okay. So his foot does go in, but again, that's due to transformation. And... Oof, this is a tight. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my God, this is. Whew. Okay, I'm going to just turn this. Wow. I, I definitely need to do a more solid or thorough review. But you know what? Let me put a little light for this for this figure. Whoa, bright light. There we go. So here we have a closer look at Star Saber. And good God almighty. And I have to say, I love the gold chrome. The colors, the bright whites of this figure. Holy shit. And he's got some, oh, something I didn't mention. He's got some, some uh, side hip skirts. He can almost do a full Van Damme. Wow. So... Wow, and there's a lot of good detail on this. Now, one thing I had uh, ever since, you know, the announcements and a lot of, uh, you know, reviews that are being posted on YouTube, there's also been some, let me take these off because I'm getting that glare, sorry. <laughs> um, there's been a lot of a lot of uh, I want to say some QC issues involved you know and one thing that I had, that one of the postings I did see was that there were like like for the inside of the uh, calves here Apparently, one had slipped by that had two, uh, two right leg panels. So I was hoping that that was not the case with mine. Uh, so I mean, holy cow! This, wow. <laughs> so there's Star Saber as he as he appears right now. Oh, yes, I, I am, I am gushing over this figure because, like I said, I, I never had the G One Star Saber or Victory Leo, or the Death Source for that matter. Though, I have seen them online, but good God, it's insane uh, in terms of the price. So, I, I'm grateful that I was able to get this. I really am. Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put Star Saber back into his hidey hole. And I promise you, I will do a full review of this figure. More than likely, it will happen, or I should say, it will air, you know, you know, uh, after the new year. But for right now, I did want to go ahead and just do the unboxing on this. So, there's Star Saber right there. Now, to... to undo Victory Saber. Oh, wow. And, uh, oh, oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, okay, I knew I was reading something. There we go, okay. So here we have Victory Saber. I do apologize, you know, it's like normally most of the videos that I do pretty much, you know, show off the figure and you're able to see it a little bit, a little bit closer up. But in this case, I wanted to take a look. So... Wow. Okay. Alright. So, good God almighty. Wait. So, wow. Uh, again, I am looking at this. So, here is Victory Saber. And just like, you know, just like Star Saber, he's got that golden crest on his chest. Some really bright and vibrant whites, some some yellows, and look at. I'm gonna try and z come on, focus. So there we are. There is Victory Saber, his face. And like I said, I, I will pretty much go over this, um, you know, when I do a full review. But I just wanted to show this off. I mean, it is so nice. <laughs> Let's, eh, he's more than nice. He is fucking awesome, man. Uh, now, let's see. Is there any? No. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. There is some. Um, Is there? I want to say that there is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. There is some. Oh, good God almighty. There is a wrist rotation, but it is stiff. It is scary stiff. Now, he does have a head rotation. Can look left or look right, look left. Uh, can't look down, and the way his head is shaped and whatnot, um, not too surprised. Uh, he can rotate his arm. He can probably do 360, but you have to turn his arm like this in order to do so. Uh, he's got around a, oh, well, I should say a, Bicep rotation close to the elbow. He does have over 90 degree articulation or 90 degree bend. And like I said before, oof, there it is. He does have wrist rotation. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, that is scary tight. And, oh. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay, so he can bend there. All right, 
Uh, he does have no waist rotation, mostly because of the fact that this med section here, once this the the this back section comes off, it splits apart to become his feet. For anyone that you know hasn't seen the series, I just gave you a spoiler. Uh, so, um, wow. Wow, that is an impressive, impressive uh, ratchet. Um, so he can go up a little over 90 degrees. Uh, he can go back a bit, but he's going to hit the uh, his backpack here. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. He does have upper thigh rotation, and he can bend about 90 degrees. He does have toe tilt. So when you have him in a very wide stance, you can have his feet arch like so. But I mean, now of course, you know, um, there are some differences in terms of the color of the paints. Especially around his knees here, you know, right here, and compared to the the color of the plastic here, not much though. And of course, we see the back here, and these areas that basically will attach to Star Saber when he's combined. But uh, now, of course, you do see this section where uh, where you put. The labels on there, which I may wind up doing uh, before I do, you know, a full review, you know, on this. So I know I keep on, you know, looking away, and I do apologize because I'm so used to having the camera in a different position. But holy cow! Again, I am just, you know, I am so gushing over. Now, one thing that um, there was one reviewer that had an issue with this front this section up here right above his face. I want to say, I don't think it was Thu, but there we go. That it kind of scratches the nose, but this is supposed to cover his face when he's in lion mode. And there's his mouth opening. Rawr. Uh, let's put that back. Uh, put that other tooth. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. And no, I don't see anything on there so uh, it's good um, I am NOT that uh, Wow <laughs> uh, again uh, like I said I never had the G1 or you know the G1 equivalent I think I may have had the the robot masters version however I think this was like a uh, like a knockoff version of it so, you know, but, uh, there he is. So, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put him back in there, right there. Oh, yeah. So, now, I'm going to go ahead and show off Hoodie. And fire. So here is Hori. And they really did a bang up job. I'm going to try and brighten that up a bit. Well, sorry. So, wow. Now, granted, these are like little MicroMaster type deals. 
so I'm gonna try and you know And I don't know if you can see it. Okay. But uh, a few reviewers had gone ahead and reviewed. <laughs> okay. He's footloose. All right. So, ah, there we go. Pop him back in there. All right. Well, there goes both his legs. So yeah, that's going to. When I do actually do my score on on the hoodie and probably fire. Oh yeah, that is going to take off some points. And, uh, da, 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 da. Wow, okay, let's go ahead and try and ah, snap all this together. Wow, I don't think I ever had this, this problem with There we go. So, okay. So there he is in vehicle mode. Not too bad, not too bad at all. And not too bad. I really wish, though, that they had done a full color here on the hood to color that in. I may wind up doing it myself. Um, but I may go ahead and also look back on Transformers Victory. Uh, like I said, you know, it's available on DVD, but I have seen it on YouTube as well. So uh, I'll go ahead and look back on it and see whether or not I would need the... Oh. They only have them um, in robot mode. Okay. So, so uh, see how far the paints are going to be. So, there we go, like that. And let's put his. <laughs> oh man, that. Uh, I laugh because, oh my god, that was, you know what, I cannot be all that surprised, really, because I have seen this issue where the legs have popped off in other reviewers, so there he is right there. So that's Hoodie right there, let's see how bad. <laughs> How bad it is for fire. So there is fire. And uh, yeah, there, there he is right there. Very, very nice looking. And, uh, you know, a lot of good detail on him. You know, however, you know, it's, oh, let's see if I can try and transform him and see whether or not Whether or not um, he will stay in one piece or whether or not his legs will pop off.
I want to say that 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 is it. Wow. Yes, I'm still playing around with this thing. Like I said, I'm going to do a full review video once when I have the opportunity. So... Yes, no. Okay. So So there he is in fire engine mode. And I don't know. Not too bad. The only thing is that this these arms do not tend to connect all too well. So there he is right there. But um, let's go ahead and get him. Yeah, whoop, there goes his, there, that, see, told you. He's gone foot loose. So, other than that, that is what you get with uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> Knew I was missing something. I forgot to pull the arms down. <laughs> Uh, but all in all, that there, that's fire right there. All right, so there, then that, 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 that is, that is it. There. Wow. Now, one thing I am noticing, like I said, when it comes down to this particular, these particular figures, um. I am very, very impressed with, uh, yeah, with this. Oh, so. Oh, there we go. Oh, had to pop that <laughs> that foot back in the way it was, but oh my god! I mean, yes, I am going to be doing a video of both of them. So, oh my god, yes, it, these are going to be the the staple of my display mantle here. <laughs> uh, so. There's a, there they are, you know. Star Saber, Victory Leo. So, as I stated earlier, I am going to go ahead and do a full review of the figure, uh, which includes, you know, in addition to a replay of what I just recently showed off, uh, it's going to be more in-depth in terms of articulation as well as its transformation. So keep an eye out for that as well. So, this is Phoenix Draconis, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Let's say go!